the next uh, interface we're going to be looking at is the iterator interface and we're going to be looking at it in conjunction with the iterable interface so first what is the iterator interface uh, its use is basically to allow us to step through a collection if you remember we when we had collections we've defined certain lists and so on and we wanted to step through them then we had to actually handle pointers so the implementation in the implementation we had to move pointers around we had a list and we had pointers and we, we would define a certain current head and go to the next head and return that head, return that element at that point so to abstract all of this implementation and just use an iterator interface which will allow us to define a certain object which will iterate through the list it has actually just two functions the first function is has next so if you're gonna implement the iterator interface you're gonna have to define the has next function and this should return a boolean saying whether or not there is a next element to uh, in the list so the iterator is gonna be an object as if it were a plugin onto your list and it's going to step through your list. At one point, suppose it reach, reached that element and it returned it, and then you're going to call has next, and this would be the neck, the, the end of the of the list. Then you're going to have to return false in this case because there is no element after that final one. So this there's this uh, function, and the next function is the next or the method. The next method is the next method, and that method basically just returns the next element. So instead of actually you handling all of the, the details and the nitty-gritty behind stepping through your list you will leave that to someone who will define the iterator uh, object which will actually um, implement the iterator interface and they will define these two functions so the iterator object allows us to step through a list or certain elements iterate through those elements a collection of elements and we can have different iterators. We could define an iterator which would step through only the first half of the list, and a second iterator which would step through the second half of the list. And all of these implementation, all this implementation will come in the the actual implementation of the iterator interface. So the person who's actually going to write the implementation, the code, is going to define how you're going to be stepping through them. So you could have multiple iterators. And then iterable is basically just an interface that uh, allows us to define a collection as iterable so it's a collection that we could step through so um, if you want to define an abstract data type like I don't know a, a list a, a binary search tree then you're gonna have to implement iterable if you want to actually step through the elements and if you want to be able to return an iterator uh, for that list something that will plug onto your to your uh, collection and be able to step through your collection so the only function that actually needs to be implemented for the iterable interface is the iterator function and all it does is it returns an iterator object the iterator object as we've seen here is an object whose class actually implements the iterator interface it gets a little uh, it takes a little time for you to get used to these to these uh, 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 to this terminology but uh, you'll get used to it. So for example this is this is an example using the iterable and the iterator. So suppose we define a class A. This could be any anything that uh, it's a list for example or a tree or a graph or a hash table something some ast abstract data type which has elements that we want to step through and we're gonna say that it implements iterable so we're gonna define it as being a collection uh, uh, that we can step through that we can iterate through all their elements and it must have this function which belongs to the iterable interface and it must actually implement it so have some code for it and what it does is it's just going to return an iterator that iterator we have defined it somewhere else that iterator actually implements the iterator interface and and the two functions which it must have code for is the has next and the next the next is going to be the most uh, involved one it will it will actually uh, require that you fetch a certain element uh, from the the collection and the has next will simply say whether or not there is an element to be found in, in the collection after the one we're actually at so this is just to give you an example um, so here's an example a concrete example suppose we have a linked list uh, and and then we have our list right here uh, it's this list has so linked list actually implements iterable and, and because of that it actually has to be able to return an iterator when you call its iterator function so this is what we're doing here we're having a list we're calling iterator it's returning an iter and we're using it to step through the elements of the collection so we're first making sure that it has